In today's interconnected global business landscape, cultural sensitivity is paramount for an effective and healthy relationship with our client. We will serve clients from diverse cultural backgrounds, necessitating an understanding of cultural nuances and customs. This is our commitment that no matter the difference in culture, we make it happen. It's essential to acknowledge and celebrate diversity daily. Instead of making assumptions, we actively inquire and tailor our approach accordingly too. Different cultures have varying preferences when it comes to communication. While some may lean towards directness, others value polite nuance exchange. For instance, many Asian countries favor indirect communication, whereas Western cultures tend to be more direct. In these cases, our assistants are trained to align with what the client needs as we always go back to what our client prefers. Here at Magic, we strike a balance by maintaining a personable tone while ensuring the content remains straightforward and to the point. Some of the questions that our assistants ask to our clients are their preferred ways to pronounce their names and the specific communication preferences we should be aware of. This way, we remain personable and straightforward as we promised. When two worlds harmoniously collide, we teach our assistants to ask for feedback for their improvement. Our assistants make it a practice to actively seek feedback. It's an invaluable tool for tailoring their approach to meet their clients' unique preferences and expectations. Embracing feedback is a wonderful way to continuously improve and provide exceptional service. Now, if you are concerned about giving our assistants feedback, worry not at all, as we turn these areas of improvements into our own strengths. Every culture has its taboos and sensitive topics. It's essential to be aware of these cultural nuances and refrain from discussing them to avoid offense. Respect for cultural boundaries is integral to effective communication and fostering positive relationships with clients. The most common ones are religious beliefs, politics, health and illness, cultural stereotypes, gender roles, death and mourning, and superstitions. At the end of the day, our assistants are more often wary about appropriate topics to open up because the main focus of our assistants' connection to their clients is to help them with what they need. 